What's up guys, it's Nick from Laidlaw's Harley-Davidson and today we're gonna to be taking a look at tires. Now I know most of you guys are probably more excited about motorcycles, engines, all sorts of stuff related to riding bikes than you are about tires, but tires are really, really important because they're the only thing on your bike that's actually gonna to be touching the ground unless you're having a pretty bad day. So it's important to learn about them and it's important to pick the right bike or tire for you. There is no best tire. Every tire is a little bit better than another tire in some category, and that's because when you improve a tire in one area, you tend to make it a little bit worse in another. So you need to know your riding style, and you need to know how to interpret what a tire manufacturer is talking about when they're describing their product so that you can pick the right tire for yourself. And that's really the goal of this video. I'm not gonna get into specifics on each individual tire. There's a lot of tires out there and there's a lot of different riding styles out there. And of course, there's a lot of different bikes out there. And the right combination of those is gonna come down to all three, or the right tire for that combination comes down to all three of those factors. And so I can't go in and break down every single tire uh, that's out there very easily in a single video. And so what I'm gonna try to do is give you the information you need to make your own decision because really that's gonna be the best way for this to happen. So, in front of me, I've got my dummy tire here. This is the tire I just ripped off of my bike and replaced. This is a Michelin Scorcher. It's the factory tire on my lowrider uh, and it's after about 5,200 miles at 330 seconds. That's the, uh, the measurement of the tread depth. Uh, and at that point in time, it's about time to replace it. So, I've taken it off and I've thrown a new set of tires on my bike, but I thought it was a good opportunity to talk about what you should look for in a tire. So the first of three topics we're gonna to discuss is fitment. After fitment, we're gonna talk about longevity, and then after longevity, we're gonna talk about performance. So fitment is pretty simple. There's three numbers that are gonna determine the fitment of a tire. You've got uh, the width of the tire, which on this tire is a 180, then you'll see a slash, and another number, which is gonna be the sidewall aspect, aspect ratio, which on this tire is a 70. The bigger the number, typically the larger the sidewall. And then you've got what rim size it's supposed to fit on. So this is a 16, it's designed for a 16 inch wheel. Uh, after those, there are some other pieces of information you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind, such as speed rating. So different tires are rated for different speeds. You probably wanna maintain a consistent speed rating for your tire. That way you know that your tire is gonna to operate to the same standard as the tire that you just took off before it. Uh, but if you keep the same fitment, the tire should fit even if you're going to a different manufacturer. We don't recommend changing tire fitments. Uh, it's not impossible to do it, but it does require a consideration of a variety of factors because if you put the wrong size tire on your tire or on your bike, you could end up with uh, rubbing, you could end up with a variety of different issues, um, different you know, the changes of the suspension geometry. If you go with a smaller uh, wheel or a, a smaller tire or a bigger tire, you could end up also changing your speedometer readout. So uh, there's a lot of different things to consider when you change fitment away from stock. And so that's why generally speaking, we recommend that you keep the stock fit. So as I said, the next topic that we're gonna be discussing is longevity. So there's three main factors that determine longevity. Uh, there is your riding style. That's a big factor, sometimes overlooked. If you don't ride as aggressively as me, you're probably gonna get a longer lifespan out of your stock tire. Think about it in terms of what you ask of the tire is how much it has to give you. The more you ask of it, the more it has to give you, and therefore the faster it runs out of things that it can give you. So you put a lot of strain on the tire, the tire is gonna wear faster. Also, your maintenance, how accurately you look after tire pressure and your suspension geometry. Uh, basically, if you have a bunch of worn suspension components on your bike, you might get uneven tire wear. Uh, if you don't maintain the correct tire pressure, you may have, be running it under inflated, which will build up more heat in the tire, cause more friction, and will wear out the tire quick, more quickly. So maintenance is actually a factor in tire wear as well. So keep up on your maintenance and you're gonna maximize your tire life. And then finally is compound. I left compound for last because this very heavily weighs into the next category, which is performance. So if you want a long lasting tire, you need a relatively hard compound, right? A tire that's made of relatively hard rubber is going to last a little bit longer. But that, as I said, brings us into performance. And that's because a harder compound tire is a trade-off. The trade-off is you're not gonna have as much dry weather performance. 
So in order to get maximum dry weather performance, you want a relatively soft, sticky tire. Uh, that's gonna provide you with absolute grip out on the roads. But it does compromise lifespan of the tire. There is a pretty ingenious solution to this that's been developing within the tire world uh, over the last, I'd say, decade. We saw it really start to come into sport bikes first, um, but it's uh, now made its way over the cruiser tires. Uh, and that is a dual compound tire, where the center section of the tire is a harder compound, and then the outer sections, where you're going to be leaning the tire and pushing the tire, uh, and it is very, very bad if the tire slips, obviously, on the edge that's gonna be made of a softer compound. So that should maximize your tire life uh, without compromising your performance. And so I'd recommend looking into a dual compound tire if you're the kind of guy who wants a high performance tire but you're also putting a lot of miles on your bike. If you're the kind of guy who doesn't put a lot of uh, miles on your bike, you've got a high performance engine in your bike and you want maximum tire grip at all times, then you don't really need to worry that much about a dual compound tire because a dual compound tire is going to have that harder compound in the section and it will com in the middle section of the tire and it will compromise your absolute grip down the uh, center section of the tire. Sorry, we got a bike rolling by. So you're going to want to go with just a single compound tire that is quite soft. <laughs> if you're the kind of guy who, you know. You don't spend that much time on a canyon road, you're just pounding highway miles, riding from one side of the country to the other, then definitely go with something that's just a single uh, endurance focused compound, right? Something that's just focused on longevity. The classic examples would be something like the, uh, the Metzler Marathon or the, the Michelin Commander 2s. Those are really focused on longevity. They do sacrifice a little bit in peak grip though. And if you're someone like me, where you like to go up in the canyons, but you also do a fair amount of commuting on your bike, then that dual compound tire is probably gonna be your sweet spot. So now, hopefully, you'll understand that when you go and you read up on a tire uh, before you purchase it, if the company says, hey, this tire is a great performance tire, you shouldn't expect great lifespan out of it. And if they tell you this tire is something that's gonna last you a long, long time, you shouldn't expect that it's gonna be the best tire for canyon style riding. Uh, and that's just because there's a trade-off there with the rubber compounds. Now they have improved pretty dramatically over the last 10 years, and so tires have been getting both grippier and longer lasting. Um, but generally speaking, that trait of having to give up longevity for grip or give up grip for longevity, that trade-off uh, is still ever-present in the tire manufacturing world. So hopefully that's provided you some insight uh, into which tire is going to be right for you. If you have any specific questions, please hit us up in the comments. If you'd like to purchase a bike from us, please either hit us up on uh, YouTube, give us a ring at the dealership, or you can find us on Instagram and send us a message there. We'd love to earn your business. And uh, hopefully this has been an informative video for you, and we always appreciate your feedback and your comments. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.